Hello, I'm Mayor Myron Bailey. As the year ends, I'd like to reflect on all that was accomplished and give an update to all of you on some of our major accomplishments here in the city of Cottage Grove. A lot was achieved in 2023, which I'm excited to share highlights from each city department with you. Providing for the safety and security of the public is one of government's most core functions and the Cottage Grove Public Safety Division provides a valued service to our residents. First off, here are some of the accomplishments of our police department in 2023. K-9 Odin joined the police team with Officer Matt Sogard as his partner. The department expanded the case management team with a full-time detective, which had a positive impact on mental health cases. In addition, they continued strong partnerships with the Washington County Narcotics Task Force, Washington County Human Trafficking, Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force, and Department of Homeland Security. Finally, the police department put AEDs in every marked and unmarked squad car. In looking at our fire department, they received a FEMA grant for $130,550 for a home safety program, which allows for home visits and smoke and carbon monoxide alarm installation. The department expanded blue card incident command training and best practices procedures, as well as implementing the East Metro Live Fire Training Facility Partnership. This has resulted in quarterly live fire trainings to improve skills and tactics. By leveraging strategic partnerships with surrounding agencies, the fire department offers multiple classes that allow over 20 experienced firefighters to achieve certification in fire department leadership and emergency incident management. The fire department achieved the American Heart Association's Gold Award for Stroke and Cardiac Care. The team received an EMS Excellence Award for care from the Minnesota Emergency Medical Services Regulatory Board, as well as a Heart Safe Community designation. With the Heart Safe designation, through the Minnesota Department of Health, over 2,000 people were trained in CPR and 60 people were trained in AED. Emergency management expanded events planning for major community events. They also replaced our last outdated emergency weather siren at 100th and Hadley, so they are all on the remote monitoring system. Narcan nasal spray, which is used when there is a drug overdose, was put in every primary response patrol vehicle. The public works crew began construction on the low zone water treatment plant, the first of two permanent treatment plants that represent our solution to PFAS for generations to come. They successfully managed the first phase of construction for East Point Douglas Road and Jamaica Avenue, which included all the upgrades to Jamaica Avenue and the signal at East Point Douglas Road. Public Works completed a major update to the city's water and sewer comprehensive plans, which ensures we can continue to serve our growing community. This information will also be critically important for the future 2050 comprehensive plan update. We know that consistency in our plow routes is one of the keys to an efficient and top-notch snow removal operation, which is why staff evaluated and reorganized the city's plow routes to include a new Route 14. This involves balancing the length of certain routes and looking at future developments to ensure routes can grow without ongoing changes year to year. A big thanks to the Public Works and Park staff who work together to plow our roads, sidewalks, and trails to keep them safe and passable during the second snowiest winter on record. Our community development team issued 241 new home permits, and they also issued 71 commercial and industrial permits with a valuation of $27 million. This is the addition to the implementation and full rewrite of the city's zoning code. 89 homes are set to be constructed by D.R. Horton after the approval of the Ravine Crossing single-family development at Keats Avenue and 90th Street. Approval was also received for a 299-unit apartment building located at 100th Street and Hadley Avenue by Norhart. Finally, construction was completed on the Orilla Apartments with 171 units and the View Apartments with 31 units. We continue to add life cycle housing in Cottage Grove to meet the needs of our residents and those that will move to the community and call it home. Parks and Recreation completed construction of the Glacial Valley Community Park, which includes a large multi-purpose building, a soccer field, a baseball diamond, six pickleball courts, a basketball court, a large playground, picnic shelters, trails, and a parking lot. The team also improved existing parks by renovating older facilities, such as sports lighting systems, playgrounds, trails, courts, 
bike parks, disc golf course, and many more. The city is making investments into our parks as we strive to make Cottage Grove a recreation destination. Several new programs and events were added to expand recreational connection with residents and visitors. Highlights include expanded archery programs, wellness programs for 50 plus, Grizzly Hockey League, golf leagues, bocce ball leagues, youth camp, hometown holiday celebration, and more. The original 1989 irrigation system at River Oaks Golf Course and Event Center was replaced and they expanded customer service for all River Oaks services by initiating a new staffing management strategy for the business. Finally, the ice arena renovated the lower warming and restroom areas, as well as the front entrance sidewalk. A rooftop solar array will be installed on the roof of the ice arena to use green energy to support the facility. For the first time in our city's history, the finance department helped the city achieve a AAA bond rating upgrade from S&P. The city also received the GFOA Financial Reporting Certificate Award for the 33rd consecutive year. The 10-year financial management plan was completed, which included operating revenues and expenses, equipment replacement, staffing and infrastructure replacement, including pavement management and street replacement. The goal of this plan is to avoid large tax impact swings from year to year. The city continues to demonstrate strong financial stewardship while providing excellent services to the community. In addition, Cottage Grove's tax rates compared favorably to other growing communities in both Washington County and the Twin Cities. Over in our administrative team, Civic Clerk was implemented for all council and commission packets to provide a better user experience and engagement. Trellis Company, who is bringing a deeply affordable senior housing project to the city, had funding approved by the Economic Development Authority. An arena study for the future home of the shops at Cottage View was also completed. And finally, Discover Cottage Grove, our Convention and Visitors Bureau, held a successful inaugural Cottage Grove Food Truck Festival at Kingston Park. This was an event that drew roughly 6,000 visitors to the community. I'm pleased to share the event will return in September of 2024. I want to thank everyone for making 2023 another outstanding year in Cottage Grove.